So hello everyone, here happy throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one's on the ATTE from 2013, of course. So on the front of the two manuals, which have the Lego Star Wars logo and the green Yoda border from the time, and picture of the set in action on Geonosis, and set number 75019, then first manual on the back, advertisement of the online survey. And then also a little code for the website, which is no longer valid. And then <coughs> advertisement of these other summer 2013 sets, of which like those two and that one expect for upcoming Throwback Thursdays. And then about halfway through the set. Second annual is out of Lego Club. And then all the pieces that come with the set. And then all the features of the set. And then last building steps. <clears throat> now on to the mini things. First off, from left to right, we have a Jedi Knight Mace, Mace Windu, which with, with a quite good face printing and torso printing, and uh, also what's kind of odd with this, which probably came in every copy of this set, where the uh, leg printing of the robes is actually in white, and also in tan for that, which kind of weird on how that is, well. Although later versions did kind of update that into like uh, dark brown and such, which, but at least kind of a strange thing that there was for the time. But yeah, and of course wielding the purple lightsaber as always. And next, which Coleman Trapper, uh, which a quite a neat Jedi fig in this, and also only fig that only one that is exclusive to this set, uh, which with the when our torso print leg printings all look quite good for how it is and then the head piece of which which does look kind of perserolophus dinosaur like but however it's actually in soft and kind of a soft rubber sort of like the yodas from the time but however luckily a soft rubber and it all looks quite good for how it is now i'm kind of puzzled why he never came in any other sets well Maybe not that important to the Jedi Order or whatever. And then next, which a which a traditional clone pilot, of which of which is the only clone trooper in this set, which really uh, sucks and all. Which there could have been like one or two more uh, clone troopers to man the ATT, since of course it's for clone armies and all. But luckily they did fix that with the 2022 or. Yeah, 2022 version with all the 212 troopers in that set. But yeah, and then but aside from that, the uh, torso printing and quite similar to most previous clone troopers, and also arms in yellow and also helmet piece, which quite the same as other Phase One clone troopers, and of course with the uh, helmet holes to the sides, which is when even though it's kind of before they trended away from that, but yeah. And then underneath of which is the clone face, which of course got carried on to several figs as well, on, on also on all these stormtroopers as well, which never understood why. Well, however, that part, which got really annoying to most of which, but however, it always works with the clone troopers, of course, at least this, which they had from this year until uh, early 2020 for that. So at least good they went over to that as well, but yeah. And the next of which is a Genotion Battle Droid and Battle and Genotion Battle Droid Leader, of which how are they, all the pieces of which how are everything same as it's always been for that, except for the yellow dot and white and yellow marking on top. Uh, to obviously be the, the leader and all. And of course white in this uh darkish uh 
in this on brown coloring is since they're genosis ones and genosis has its own baldroid factories use this kind of from that of course all it would be nice if this again came in and in most other sets which came in only this came in just this set and also the uh, corporate alliance tank droid from this uh, wave for that although it would be nice if they came again in in any other sets well even though the only other time we did was the Geonosian fighter in 2003 but that was in sand red but however this coloring works better for that but yes and then the back torso on the back sides of each of them the mace window not at all the uh, back torso printing which is kind of odd for the time and nowadays but however the back torso printing on the other two of which also quite good for how it is but yeah still wish there could be another phase one clone trooper in this set since of course this is an army building vehicle but yeah <clears throat> and now on to the ATTE itself and from first glance quite good step up from the first two versions like the first version that was out in 2003 for episode 2 Attack of the Clones release and then again in 2008 for the uh, Clone Wars movies release and then this one which was in 2013 for the um, for the just as a simple remake of that but then also we had the uh, then in 2016 we did have the kind of modified version for Star Wars Rebels and then we had the and then of course the episode 3 version out in uh, 2022 of course yeah yeah. Then, as for this front section here, which I see is a little bit of like the uh, like first two versions, like the other versions of it, but however, all the ball turns, which are on the extra large ball joint kind of pieces, is that swivel around words, and it's quite good for that. And as for the this can uh, cockpit canopy piece, well, does have these traditional window pieces and fence piece all on there. And then, as you can like slip it right outwards and then have the couple levers to control it there and a seat to fit your clone, seat, uh, sit your clone pilot on too. And that plus rod uh, brick connects into that plus rod in there. And just slides in and is in there nice and securely and then if you wonder what those uh, clips on the sides are for it is mostly to hold these uh, panel parts uh, downwards and keep from flopping which unlike with the uh, 2008 version you were able to like push on it and then shoot the spring load launchers or the extra large spring load launchers right outwards but although you kind of don't get those in the, in this set, well, but of course we did improve that on the later two versions. But yeah, and then as for the, the like kind of mid section of it, which has a lot of these quite nice uh like all these traditional plates and wedge pieces on all sides. Well with plain stickers on it and the Republic symbol as well and also this printed dish piece like which is most likely carried on from the first two versions of the ATTE for that and and also down below which uh, which are the six feet for that uh, which quite all symmetrical for that which if you're a fan of symmetry then this is right for you <coughs> and then also all six feet of which kind of like that but whereas the middle like which kind of dangles around a lot but of course meant to do so but as for this back section of which has again the same two ball torrents for that but also have the same kind of stuff going on but also have a little bit of a hint of the like opening section as well if open that up and then kind of drops right down for that that's but yeah and then also as for this back section which also 
has a little ladder like piece for your uh, troopers to climb up into it, which nice to see there. there for that. Then as for interior space of which, which is very limited for that. You see like plate and a couple of clips to fit your clone guns onto and also and if you notice that this whole uh, set which is like really gap for that. Like and I'm sure some of you probably modified this set in with extra plates underneath to fit various clone troopers onto. But luckily the 2022 version did provide a lot of extra amount of that. And I think also the 2016 version as well. Well, even though they did kind of try with this one. But yeah. And then also do have a couple large uh, slopes in here and with a couple stickers on them for buttons and such. And then also this crate, which opened it up. And then have, have a pair of uh, silver flat studs, but in this case used as a thermal detonator, so, uh, which nice touch there. And of course that, uh, which did get carried on to most other sets eventually, but yeah. And uh, and to close it upwards, just lift this up, and then close right down for it's like so. And then as for the rest of the of this uh, upper section, like this kind of part which has the torrent on it and has the uh, quick fire missiles on the side, but unlike with the 2022 version which has the uh, stud shooters, newer style stud shooters on them, and as the just a traditional uh, jagged slope, or a few traditional jagged slope it's like all on there and a little spot with a tile piece to sit a clone trooper on to well if you have any extra clone troopers to do so and then this large uh, cannon which goes upwards quite well for that and of course ends up with a cone on top cone piece on top but although the uh, 2016 rebels version we didn't have did have a spring launcher on the there so that was a good touch up for that so uh, and the movement of it can swivel up and down and the cannon can go up and down which good posability to it and then in the center part of which which has this little handle part of it which has made a few technic bits and luckily able to like carry it around easily and of course this when it those are starting to get a lot more common for that. But when you like put it down, then all the legs go into place. Really great for that. And now, a little thing to point out is that on the 2008 version, which the handle part was quite different, where it was just a Technic pin that goes uh, sideways for that. But if you like put it downwards, and then you can have it attached to the Republic dropship with ATOT of 2009, the following year as well. Same with the 2010 uh, clone turbo tank as well, but although, but although, now a little hint is, would like some folks to do or try mock around with is to make a little modification to this handle and also the 2022 sets handle and also the 2016 clone turbo tank uh, handle parts is modify them to fit the drop, Republic drops on to see if that can work out for that but yeah and then back onto this section where you can also like lift it upwards and then also very little uh, interior space well not much at all but yeah. and then also get this little section that holds the extra flick fire missiles on too which also kind of like just like we see in the 2013 republic gunship as well but and putting it downwards it's kind of smooth since has the curved slopes that prevent it from uh, scratching or scraping on uh, other bricks for that so good touch there and also for as for the other side of which is completely symmetrical and again if you're a symmetry person like i am uh, which nice great to see there <clears throat> so
So now, for, so for my overall verdict on this set is that I think this was a quite good set for how it was for how it was for the time and nowadays. Like for the minifig selection, at least got a couple ex one exclusive character being of Coleman Trapper, which I wish we could get in sets now. But yeah, and then also uh, which really stinks is just one single clone trooper set. Well. Unless if you had the battle pack from earlier in the year, which did come with another phase two, phase one clone trooper as well. Well, this, although the this one was just kind of a second attempt try or third attempt try, for how it was. Well, but but then of course the uh, 2022 uh, version kind of fixed that since since it had all just uh, clone troopers and of course Commander Cody and battle droids, which making that about right for army building so this which kind of more like uh, fitting into a G notions mock or whatever but however the price point of it for like uh, 80 90 dollars that it was back in 2013 I say quite good for how it is as for that even though the uh, later version has gotten a little bit extra expensive as well since obviously filled in all the like interior space problem but yeah but this one as is, I can still kind of forgive it of how it is, but yeah. So, and uh, what else is there to say? Not much, but yeah. And so now, if any of you uh, would still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Brickling, Ricari or bricks and minifigs, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.